Why some people experience delay in getting married. That was a fun party after the wedding. I'm so happy for my friend Sheila. But I wonder, when will I get married? I'm 31, and I still live at home, with my parents. Well, I guess I still have a chance. This new guy Tony, that I met today looks promising. Anyway, let me go to sleep so that I can wake up early. <laughs> oh my dear Jenny, you will never get married. I don't care how hard you try, but you're doomed to remain single for life. Hello my agent. You have done a fantastic job at keeping Jenny single. Thank you my madam. However, she has become a challenge of late. In what way? She has started going for prayers and deliverance at this new pastor's church. She stopped going to the false prophet we had assigned her to. So that evil mask and smell that she was carrying with her has worn off. I did not assign you to Jenny to speak this way. Don't you know other schemes of keeping her single? The problem is that now she has too much fire around her. I can't easily access her as before. She met this new guy today called Tony. I've come to you so that we can reason together about what to do. Get her to stop praying, so that her fire can simmer down. Discourage her from going to this church. Then scatter this new relationship. Afterwards, I want you to start a relationship with her. Sleep with her, so that we can initiate her and control her life. Hmm. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea. Let me go ahead and carry out this plan. Hi Jenny. I came to pick you up so that we can go to church for prayers. Hi Naomi. I feel tired. I don't think I will make it today. And what were you doing that you were this tired in the morning? I had gone to my friend's after party. And it ended late. I think I will just settle in today and rest. Okay then. I'll talk to you later. You look so beautiful Jenny. I'm glad to meet with you again. Thanks Tony. Did you get home safely after the party? Yes, I did. I was kind of tired the next day. But it was worth it. What is that smell? Can you smell that? No, I don't smell anything. What does it smell like? It smells. It smells like sewage. Oh my god. What? What's wrong? I don't know what's going on. I think I'm just tired. Why don't we call it a day? Let me go home and rest. I'll call you later. Is there something I did wrong? No, I just feel tired, that's all. I'll call you later. I promise. Okay. Imagine it's been a whole month since I heard from Tony. He even blocked my phone number. I don't know why my relationships don't last. That's sad to hear Jenny. But I'm sure you'll get someone else very soon. Well, I hope so. Oh. Is this where you are going for the audition? No, it's over there. It won't take long. Okay, I will wait for you at the cafe across the street. Alright. Thanks, I'll see you later. Okay, there's Jenny. Let me transform myself and approach her. Hello, how are you? Hello. Why are you seated all alone? I'm just waiting for a friend. Do you mind if I buy you a cup of coffee, as you wait? My name is Jacob. I'm Jenny. It's nice to meet you Jenny. So, is the friend you are waiting for, your date? No, she's a good friend of mine. She's gone for an audition. I was just waiting for her, so that we can have our lunch together. I actually think she's almost done. Well Jenny, you seem like you're a nice lady. 
and I would like to get to know you better. Can I please get your phone number? I've just met you. I'm not a bad person. I promise. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was interesting. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, I did. However, the play ended so soon. I have an early start tomorrow, and I feel a bit tired. Maybe we can sleep over at my place instead. My house is not far from here. Okay, let's go. Why are all these roses on the bed? Plus the lit up candles. <laughs> you know Jenny, I'm a very romantic person. I wanted us to have a special time tonight. What do you mean? Let me show you. <laughs> perfect, just perfect. We have you exactly where we want you, Jenny. Well done, Agent. Bravo. You will rise up in rank because of this. Now, her life is rendered useless from now on. Thank you, madam. We can now do whatever we want with her. I haven't seen Jenny in a while, and I remember her to be an active participant in the choir. Let me call her and find out how she's doing. Oh my. It's Pastor Mike. Hello, Jenny. How are you? I'm doing well, Pastor. And you? I'm all right, Jenny. I haven't been seeing you in church of late. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. It's just that. I've been busy with work. Plus, I moved out from my parents' home. Oh, really? Where do you now stay? I moved two hours away, to a place called Tent. I also met a wonderful man, whom I now live next to. I hope you are not cohabitating with him? No, I'm not. Why don't you visit church soon with your new boyfriend? I'd love to meet him. Alright Pastor Mike. We shall visit you soon. How was your day today dear? It was okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you. My pastor called me in the afternoon, and requested we both go and visit him this coming week. Why does he want to see me? I mentioned to him that I'm seeing someone. Maybe he's just curious. Thank you for coming to see me today. But where is your boyfriend? He's not feeling well. I hope you will believe what I'm about to tell you. I pray that God opens your eyes to see the real person you are dating. I don't understand you, Pastor. God gave me a revelation, as we talked over the phone last week. The person you are dating is an agent of darkness, with a mission to keep you in bondage. What? It's hard to believe what you have just told me. Why do you think he couldn't make time to come and see me? He's pretending to be sick. But I assure you, if you continue to see him, you will never get married, and you will be stagnated for life. In fact, as I am speaking to you, there is a mask covering your face, and you have a stench, that makes other men stay away from you. It's interesting that you've mentioned this, because I have had one of my ex-boyfriends mention this to me. We need to pray fervently for your deliverance. I need you to come and see me every week for prayers. Then, please stay away from him. Wow, Pastor, I'm just in shock. It's understandable. Let's stand and pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this day. Thank you for opening Jenny's eyes regarding her current situation. We come before you asking for forgiveness of any known and unknown sins that we have committed. According to Luke 10:19. It's written that you have given us authority to trample over serpents and scorpions, and to overcome the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt us. Therefore, 
we command every demonic chains that have bound Jenny to break in Jesus' name. We wash off the evil mask and smell that follows her by the blood of Jesus. We renounce and nullify every demonic covenants that Jenny has entered into in Jesus' name. We send the fire of God to burn down every ungodly altar that is speaking into her life, and we silence that voice in Jesus' name. We decree and declare that no weapon formed against her shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against her in judgment shall be condemned, according to Isaiah 54, 17. We pray this in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Oh no, oh no. There's too much fire. It's just too much fire. Oh hi Jenny, how are you? Hi Andrew. I'm doing fine. Wow, I haven't seen you in a long time. Yes. Why don't we sit down for coffee as we catch up? Wow. I've had such a great time with you Jenny. I'd like to do this again. Can I get your phone number, so that we can talk some more? I've also enjoyed myself. Yes, I'll give you my number. Some people walk around with an evil mask or smell that keeps them stagnated in life. Such people never enjoy the blessings that they are supposed to have, because they are invisible in the realm of the spirit. It is therefore important to wage in spiritual warfare, if you experience stagnation and unnecessary rejection in your life. Please remember to comment, like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos.